So we do that, I was at his neck, creeping from the back with soda ops and had to let him have it, I fucked up his that, but what that bitch, she ain't called me yet, we did that at six and who got hit, I know someone checked his key one, he don't miss that two weeks past, I'm back on my ground, I can't waste no time, now I've been quiet, they be whooping dope, but them niggas not sliding, I've been high. So let's address some comments about this enclosure then, which fine enough, the majority of them come from my TikTok where it's the best documented on TikTok, like I show everything. Anyway, someone said, nice isobaric six and a halfs, and that I have twelves inside this box. The only problem with that is, isobaric loading is that, not both the subs like that. So that can't be right. And then the next problem, the box isn't even eleven high, so I don't know how twelve's gonna fit in that. As for all sides of the box, I'm more than happy to show it. I even showed it in the car, but now that it's out, I can more easily show all sides of the box with no trace of any other subs being cut into it. Is this box quite ugly? Yeah, but that's because it was originally for two eights. That was my original two eights box. And then I went to, well, I went to this behemoth here, which, yeah, believe me, if there was two eights inside that thing, it does a lot more than... 142, 143, it, it, there's more, a lot more than 145 really, yeah. Um, two eights be going back in for testing, so that'll be fun. Same thing with this enclosure though. The height is kept to as small as I can get it to be, so people can't say, oh, there's other thubs in it, because I had someone say it was a 15. A 15 won't fit in there. To get a 15 to fit, it would have to be about 18 inches tall, which it clearly isn't. I think the best part is, apparently someone's gonna show the DD CEO my videos because he reckons it's fake. All right, cool, we can go do that. Best part about it is this was done with collaboration from Sundown. I'm gonna keep it 100% transparent. These were sent out to me, but I paid shipping. I'm gonna keep it transparent because that's what I like about Sundown. That's what I like about Jacob Fuller and him designing and sharing prototypes and what's coming up. It's transparency and that's what we need. I was only able to get two of them. Here's the problem with that. I had a bit of an oopsie with my last run well, I say last run, it was really like last 50 runs because it was all day of testing and then eventually let go after recording some videos. But I only got two of them. Now, can anyone spot the issue? Just first glance. Just anyone? Anyone see what happened? <laughs> all right, so let's go over these. In terms of spider, you know, I'm surrounded. Everything was great. Even thermally, they're fantastic. I kept saying they barely got warm. As you can see, the coil looks brand new. Everything is fantastic. So they handled it great, but this one decided to have a bit of a, had a bit of a oopsie moment, and um, well, the coil kind of came detached from the former. Focus, yeah, not exactly great. I'm not sure how that happened. I didn't hear a bottom out or any tick, so it is what it is. But I'm not mad. I was beating these things to hell and back, and they performed. As you can see, the coil isn't like the you know isn't jammed up in there. It's just detached from that former for some reason. It's a bit odd. And it looks brand new, as I said. It's not a thermal issue. Look at that. It looks great. So, in terms of clamp power, maybe RMS, maybe a little bit more, because Sundown's quite conservative, but it wasn't much. And I was playing these things all day long. If you look on my phone, I got way over 100 videos. Mind you, majority of those 100 videos aren't very good. So, probably won't be posting 100 of them, but I'll be posting a fair amount of them. It doesn't really matter what I do, 
It's windy. Oh, it's fake. Oh, it's not fake. Hmm. Okay, it doesn't meter good then. Oh, it meters good and it's windy? Oh, it's fake again. Shows everything. Ah, I, I still think it's fake. Doesn't matter what I do, man. I swear to God. The only thing that could stop all of that is really pulling up to a show in the United States. However, problem. Um, I'm not in the United States. That does seem to be an issue. Hmm. However, if someone wants to, you know, just, just hire your boy real quick, right? Just give, give me a little job. I'll fly out there and take that job. Doing car audio. I'll, I'll take that job. I want to go travel anyway, so might as well go work something I love doing. And I'm quite good at doing. Just to see people's reactions when they hop in the car. Oh, you got two eights? Oh, okay. All of a sudden it just does, you know, hair tricks and rips their beanie off. A little thing for the DD fanboys. I have four DD 506s. And I bet you if I did it with DDs and not Sundowns, well, the DD fanboys would be going, Here's the back, because someone said it might be an IB sub. No, just an 8K under there. Nothing too interesting. Also, you know, keep in mind, this is all getting redone when lithium goes in, because I'm going to have lithium go right there. Then it's all going to be false four and carpeted. So just, just keep that in mind. It's a work in progress. Like, you don't have to hate for no reason. Like, relax, man. As for the rest of the cabin, it's all tinny, apart from back here, right there, solid. Rear doors, tinny, front doors, all this is all stock. The only thing touched is the boot, trunk, where I have some dead in there, um, ratchet straps going from the back, and a little bit of wood to mount amps and batteries too.